Hello, and welcome to Tektronics. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to utilize the measurement features on a DPO and MSO 3000 series oscilloscope. I will first show you how to access the measurement tool. Select Measure, followed by Add Measurement. We can use Multipurpose A to select our source, which will be Channel 1, and Multipurpose B to select our measurement type, for example, period. And press OK to add measurement. Note that we can only use up to four measurements at a time. If I try to select more, for example, two, three, four, and five, the machine will tell me four measurements maximum. Only four measurements may be displayed at one time. Remove one or more measurements. So we can either remove a single measurement by selecting one of these four appropriate buttons, or we can select remove all measurements. Or if the menu are off for any reason, we could remove measurements by selecting measure, remove measurement, and again, we could remove measurements individually or altogether. Now back to using our measurements. For the sake of simplicity, we will just choose a couple measurements, like period and rise time. You can see we are given a table showing value, mean, min, max, and standard deviation. If we select more, we are given a side menu with statistics, gating, reference levels, and high-low method. We can select the statistics on or off. With the statistics off, we are no longer given the mean, min, max, or standard deviation. Using multipurpose A, we can vary the sample size used for both the mean and standard deviation. We can also reset the statistics here. By selecting more again, we can see our gating options. We can choose gating to be off, or we can limit the gating to the viewing screen. We can limit the gating even further by selecting between two cursors, using multipurpose A to control the left bound, and multipurpose B to control the right bound. We can also toggle the cursors here. Selecting more again will allow us to change our reference levels. In reference levels, we can set levels in percentages or units. We can change our high and low reference for measurements like rise time, and we can change our middle reference for measurements like period. Note that we must select which reference we want to change before using the multipurpose controls. We can also select Set to Defaults to restore any changes made to those reference levels. Selecting more once again will allow you to change the high-low method, which is just a way to differentiate the criteria for high and low values between a pulse and a waveform. Another nice tool is the Indicators feature. Select Indicators and use Multipurpose A to select our measurement indicator. We will choose Rise Time. You might think something is wrong when you only see one indicator for Rise Time. However, if we zoom in on the horizontal scale, we will see both indicators representing our high and low reference for Rise Time. Thank you for watching our video. If you would like more information, please visit www.tektronics.com support.